Whether in power plants or in the industry, component failure in power generating equipment can have dramatic consequences, not just in terms of production losses, but also in possible replacement or repair costs. Let's take the example of this turbine crash that led to a six-month shutdown and collateral damage running into millions of dollars. What caused the failure? And how could it be prevented from happening again? Could a root cause analysis provide the answers? NG Laborilec was called in to find out. A well-run root cause analysis provides authoritative answers, not only for operators, but also for engineering companies, insurers or equipment manufacturers. In the present case, an intensive process of investigation at the scene, non-destructive testing, failure analysis and meticulous work back in the laboratory made it possible to uncover the whole story. It began with forensic fact-finding on site. The expert team assessed the situation and decided which components, some of them weighing several tons, had to go back to the lab to be analysed. Back at Laborilec, all the components, large and small, were given a painstaking visual inspection. The visual inspection was a very big task because it received a very large number of parts and moreover they had a very large size. We had to look at every detail, small features, discoloration and basically all the damage. All those things give us information which are key and give us evidences about the sequence of events. So nothing is left to chance if the root cause analysis is done properly. Then came the metallurgical examination, which involved cutting down samples from crucial components to a few centimetres in size for polishing, ready for the electron microscope. The cutting process generates heat, with a risk of changing the material's characteristics. It had to be done carefully, and with precision, so that the forensic examination was not compromised. After the examination under the microscope, the samples were subjected to metallographic examination and hardness measurement. The metallurgical examination helped us characterize the cracks and identify the failure mechanism. Also, we evaluated the material structure and the weld quality. Inspection of the surface under the microscope revealed exactly what was behind the failure. There were clear signs of metal fatigue, a weakening of the structure characterized by extensive, minute cracks. This can only occur when the material is subject to cyclic loading, such as vibrations. Our experts then verified their hypotheses using finite element analysis to model what occurred and found the confirmation they were looking for. A root cause analysis is not a one-size-fits-all procedure. The tests are designed to investigate every plausible factor, eliminating possible scenarios one by one to be able to point to how the equipment failure happened. And once that's done, authoritative recommendations can be made about what to do next, which options are best and how to avoid reoccurrence. What NG Laborilec did for this turbine crash, it has also done for many other power plants and industries across the globe. The fruitful outcome of the analysis here was because of the combination of skills in three areas. Expertise in material technology, knowledge of large rotating machines, and experience in operational processes in power plants. But other root cause analyses might require additional skills or even skills in completely different areas. As a multidisciplinary centre of expertise, Laborilec brings together skills in fields as diverse as chemistry, cybersecurity, nuclear technologies, renewable energies, power grids, energy management, and many others, all within the same community of experts. Don't hesitate to get in touch with us.